The following is a class on the Srimad Bhagavatam, 6th Canto, 1st Chapter, Text Number 27, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on the 27th of May, 1976, in Honolulu, Hawaii. Translation. When the time of death arrived for the foolish Ajamil, he began thinking exclusively of his son, Narayana. So, in the previous part, so, it has been described, Bhoda, Paya, Mula. And here is also, Sairam Bhattamana Agya. Agya means one who has no sufficient knowledge. He is called Agya. And Mura means as. That's it. So in both the verses, the Ajami is described as full, rascal, and without sufficient knowledge. Why? Because he is attached to the child and he does not know that death is coming now. Death is there. This is our position. We say the God is dead. God is not dead. God is coming very soon, wait a few years, till we dead. This is the position. You ask him, God is not dead. God is coming to kick you, to kill you. <laughs> yes, Krishna says. <laughs> Mṛttu sarva harasya aham. What is death? Just like in your previous life you had been something. Death means you have forgotten everything. Suppose I was a very big king or prime minister or president, but that is all finished. Now I have got another life, another chapter of life. Tathādi hāntara prāpti. You have to change your body. It may be lower degree or higher degree, but you have to change your body. There are 8,400,000 species of life, forms of life. You have to accept one of them. That is our real problem. If we forget the real problem and blindly or foolishly say that God is dead. God may be dead, but God's law is not dead. Suppose the king dies, the president dies. Does it mean the government dies? The government will go out. You can say God is dead. God is not dead. Neither you are dead. But if you foolishly say that God is dead, that does not mean his law is also dead. The law is gone. One king may be dead, the next his son or somebody will become king, and the government law is gone. So what is the use of talking foolishly like God is dead? God may be dead. God is never dead. This is why now. This morning we are talking. So we are concerned with the Lord of God. God may be dead or alive. It doesn't matter. Suppose by law we are prisoners. We are in the prison house and all of a sudden the president or the king died. Does it mean we shall be free? No. You have to rock. That is Bengali proverb say, Raja Mole Rajo Atkar. If the king dies, 
His government is not stopped. We should remember that. So the, that government is prakriti, the material nature. It's a prakriti kriyamanani guni karmani sarvasa. You are reading Bhagavad Gita. So this is, these are all foolish things. That God is there, I don't care for God. But God, actually God is not dead. He, you are dead. You are dead because, you are dead actually, because this body, the bodily concept of life, this body is dead. This night you are uh, driving one car, but if you think that I am the car, the car is dead. The car is moving because you are alive. Similarly, this dead body, this body is dead, already dead, from the very beginning. But it is moving on account of the soul. This is knowledge. It is dead from the very beginning. Therefore, in the Shastra it is said that aprāṇaśya hi devasa mannanam lokaranya Aprāṇaśya hi devasa, deha, deha means this body, so either it is dead or alive, it has no life. Aprāṇaśya hi devasa, deha is not alive, it is all, always dead. Simply we understand because we are foolish rascal, we understand that this body is dead when the soul is alive. The body is always dead. So bhavo bhakti bhīnasa jāti jagastava kriya. If one is not, Krishna calls us bhagavad bhakti bhīnasa, then he is big nationality jāti. His achievement, japastapa, his activities, everything of Bhagavad Bhakti Bihinasta Jati Japastapa Kriya, all these things are like decoration of the dead body. A prana sahi devasa mannanam lokaranda. Mannanam lokaranda. We are decorating this body with flower, ornaments, nice cloth. How long? So long the life is there. Then it is beautiful. Otherwise, no more beautiful. If you guard that, suppose I become dead and you guard that, it may be pleasing to somebody, but what is the value? There is no value. So this material civilization they're decorating this body. So the bodily concept of life is condemned in the very beginning of Bhagavad Gita. This knowledge was given to Arjun by Krishna when he surrendered. When he was talking friendly, he did not say. When Krishna, Arjun, submitted, the Krishna, I am now perplexed. So how my intelligence can be revived. You know, Krishna, Arjuna knew that Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God. So his perfect position can be solved by Krishna, that he knew. Therefore he said, Shishya steham sadhimam prabhannam. Krishna no more friendly talks. We are wasting time. Now I become your disciple. Shishya. Shishya means desire. You kindly advise me. I am surrendering unto you. That with Dhipani Pātina, spiritual master means you must surrender to me. If you talk foolish, then you will not be benefited. You must submissively and accept what God is saying. So when Krishna began to teach him as teacher, the first thing he uttered, anyone can say what he first said? Asachyanam Shuchastam Prajnavadam Subhashtam. 
गतासुन अगतासुन स लानु सूचन दि पंडिता माय डियर अर्जुन यू आर टॉकिंग लाइक वेरी लाने स्कॉलर बट यू आर सो रेस्कल दैट यू आर टॉकिंग ऑफ दिस बॉडी सो सो फार दि बॉडी इज कंसर्न आइ दैट इट इज डेड और अलाइव इट इज नॉट दि सब्जेक्ट मैटर ऑफ एनी टॉक Now so it is the point. Those who are learned scholars, they don't talk about the body. They talk about the soul. That is point. What is this? This is this body. Suppose this is cloth. Now, if you talk about this cloth, you can talk. You can write volumes of books. This uh, uh, silk was purchased from that shop. And it was manufactured in such and such day, and the man manufactured. He is like this. He is like. You can go on talking nonsense like that, and can write books. So all these rascal figures of art, they are writing about this cloth. That's all. Just try to be deep in our issue. And this is not the subject matter for the learned scholar. Now we should turn to Pandita. What is this body? A combination of matter. It is already dead because the living soul is there. It is moving, and as soon as the living soul is out of this body, it is useless, dead of matter. So, what is there? Important talking about this dead body. That's the word. That's how it is made of this earth, earthly ingredient, bhumi or kono, and it will become again. You go up. Either there are three. I mean, it's a transformation of this body. One transformation is as, another transformation is two, another transformation is earth. There are three different types of transformation. Just like Christian people, they bury the body. So, in due course of time, you will find, say, after ten years. The body is finished. It is now art. The body has become art. And Hindus they burn it, so the body becomes ash. And the Parsis they throw the body to be eaten by the vultures. It becomes stool. This is the last, I will say, transformation of this body. And we are so much busy about this ash, tool, and art. Just see how foolish we are. Therefore, Krishna said to Arjun, "Gatasuna, gatasuns. Just like motor car. Which driver or no driver? What is it? Is it is just matter? Then so, why one should be busy about this motor car?" One should be busy about the driver, whether he is paid nicely, whether he is eating nicely. We drive. If you don't take care of the driver, simply you wash the car. What is the use? The car will not be moving without driver. Similarly, the whole civilization should be on the basis of understanding the soul. That is civilization. So unfortunately, uh, in a, by the spell of Maya, just like this Ajahnila, he is committing sinful activities. He is now rogue, thief, cheater. He doesn't care for that, but he is taking care of the body of the child. He is thinking, this child will save me when I am in danger. There is another part in the second canto. The half of the kalatra, the issue, atma sannesu, or sasu, we. Pramatta tasya nidhana pasanna pina pasati. Deha, deha means his body. Apatta means children. Deha patta. Kalatra is wife. Dehapatta kalatra is true. At 
for such nation. Here is struggle for existence, and we are thinking that this my strong body and my nice children and my wife, they are my soldiers, as I am saying. Everyone is thinking that. Now I am in a good family. I've got my family members very nice. I've got my strong body. Oh, what do I care? God is there. That's all. So this is our misconception. We are thinking that this paraphernalia, my country, my community, my countrymen, or my family, my wife, my children, so many things, my, my, my. So I am thinking that they will give me all protection. No. That's why in the Bhagavad it is said, the Habakta Kalatra, the Shuru, Asasurabhi, he knows that they will be placed. They cannot give protection to themselves. What protection they will give to me? This is not. The Ahapatya Kalatra, the Shuru, Atma Sanyeshu, Asasurabhi, Pramatra, Tassa, Nidhanam, he knows that they will be finished. Pasana Bhina Pasati, he has practical experience, he still is as much. This is karma. Maya may think is one and is thinking otherwise. He is soldier, the so-called soldier, the protector, will be finished, but he still is depending on him. Suppose a, a bird is flying with his family in the sky. But if there is some danger, then no other bird can help you. You have to help yourself. That's an aeroplane. It's a dozen of aeroplane is flying. But if one aeroplane is in danger, no other plane can give him any help. It will fall down and crash, finish. So we have to take care of ourselves. Then we are thinking, my country, my community, they are all busy in this way. They will save me. No. When they will come, nobody will save you. You remember that. You are challenging God is dead. When God will come and make you kill it, nobody can save you. So we are so foolish, we are thinking that God is dead and I shall continue my life and my wife, my children, my countrymen, my nation will save me. That is not possible. Thank you very much.